Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's theCUBE, covering EMC World 2015. Brought to you by EMC, Brocade, and VCE. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are live here at EMC World 2015. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE, and Wikibon's flagship program. We go out to the event, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Dave Vellante. We're excited to have EMC's Chief Marketing Officer, Jonathan Martin, back on theCUBE. Great to see you, I know you're hey super busy. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, it's been a nutty couple of days, but you know. You obviously know how to drive a motorcycle. You saw that. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't hop on that thing otherwise. No. So a lot of flash, a lot of flash in the event. A lot of flash, in, you know. <laughs> you know. Sizzle. 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 A lot of sizzle and steak, too. Yeah. So a lot of meat on the bone, as yeah. we always say in the yeah. cube. So give us a little rundown, quick stats on the show, um, just the numbers. Some yeah, of the numbers so about 40,000 people here, coming from 99 countries around the world. Uh, not exactly sure how many people are online, but we last year we kind of crossed over. It's the first year last year that we had more people watching online. Um, so I expect when we get the stats in, we'll be seeing that kind of thing as well. So. Great to see Joe Tucci up on stage. Yeah. Heartfelt, thank you, thanking customers. Great All, customer always. satisfaction, like, a um, lot of learning. What's the, what's the key theme of the show here, and what's some of the background? How does it all hang together? Yes, yeah, so the key, key theme of the show is really around uh, the, the transformation organizations are going through as they move to the digital era. So if you look at some of the, the stats that are out there at the moment, uh, within just five short years, you'll have uh, seven billion people connected to the internet using 30 billion devices. Uh, those 30 billion devices will generate 44 zettabytes of information in just five years' time. That, that, that intersection, as the, these, uh, these devices not only begin to communicate with each other, but begin to uh, become more, uh, more intelligent as they use more and more software, they become to negotiate with each other, is going to transform every business model. You're, Sorry. Under under Jeremy Burton, he was the CMO before you, and you took it over. Yeah. You've been involved with Jeremy for a while. EMC's become fun, right? You guys did a, that record video with the ju the jumping, the, the jump video, yeah. The jump video had what 10 million views, or so. So yeah, so um, I think the last stats that I saw were we had uh, four, t 10 million views within uh, eight days. We are at 44 million views right now, um, which is pretty. Pretty amazing. <laughs> a lot of so people. digital transformation, you're the CMO, you yep. are the captain of the digital marketing, digital transformation. You got to keep moving Jeremy and the team. You see the pace of forward progress, not resting on his laurels here at EMC. What's your mindset? How do you attack that? I mean, is just throw everything at it, keep on publishing, you got a lot of content here? So I, you know, so, I think my, uh, so, somewhere in my DNA, I'm like, I love to do anything for the first time. I get super excited about doing anything for the first time. Second, doing it second time, you get to perfect it. Doing anything the third time, I'm just so done with it. So, so I think as a, like a, a marketing guy and as a marketing team, you, you have to keep innovating and just doing things differently because pe people, people's attention span gets shorter and shorter. People get bored really, really easily. So you've got to keep, you can't run the same show twice. You can't run the same campaign twice. And the worlds of like consumer marketing and enterprise marketing are really blurring to be one of the same thing. Like th that video that you mentioned there, it is the most successful B2B viral video ever. We sell big black boxes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not on Funny or Die either. I mean, that's where all the good viral videos are, yep. but that's a great video. So yep. you guys are pushing the envelope. Yeah, totally. So Jonathan, today's Federation Day. Yep. I wonder from, from marketing yeah. perspective, you've worked in a lot of large companies, other companies. Sometimes it's really tough to get in to see this, the senior executives, the CXO, CIO, yep. CEO even. Yep. How has the Federation changed your ability to reach those executives and how has the marketing of the EMC changed think, I, as a result? I think the, the, the big change is the, the story that we're able to tell and the fact that we're able to deliver really truly like end-to-end -end outcomes. So every, everyone's struggling with the basic equation of how do I reduce cost while maintaining or increasing my service levels and at the same time go chase growth. They want to be able to do that in the shortest, fastest way possible. They don't want to go, have to go bolt lots and lots of different bits of technology together, lots and lots of bits of software together. Actually, the technology piece is the, the easy bit. It's the organizational transformation, the policy, the procedures that you have to transform together. So people want to buy predetermined outcomes. There's very few companies that have the breadth of, of 
of uh, portfolio uh, that the Federation has. And because of that, we're able to deliver these prepackaged, predetermined outcomes around things like hybrid cloud, big data lakes, next, ge next generation development platforms. So the brand is evolving, the brand's transforming. So boil yeah. it down. What what should we be thinking about the brand near near to midterm? Uh, what do you want it to say? Is it you know, you're the Sherpa to the digital age? Is it? Is it, you know, obviously there's trust in there. What's the, what's the real brand message you so want? So the brand say? message is re really around, if you're interested in like re reducing cost, chasing growth faster, ma managing it, managing the risk of doing that, and being able to deliver these predetermined outcomes. So if you look at things like the hybrid cloud, guaranteed delivery of an outcome within 21 days, that's what we want to be known for. Are there pieces that you wish you had as a CMO, that you feel like there's a there's a gap in, in in executing on that, or do you feel like you're pretty much there? I think we we have a, a great, great, great. Uh, of course, I'd say we have a great portfolio. There's uh, al always areas that you can can go build on, and like all the product guys will be you know be great at doing that. For for me, um, it's it's really around. I think we we've elevated our story a lot this year. I think if you look at like da David Golden's keynote. Um, yeah. No, Dave, you know, prior years it's kind of started at IOPS and gone down from there. Um, very different kind of story. I, so. I was very good this year, I, I was yeah. commenting. Uh, um, so, okay, so now in, in, in thinking about sort of your vision going forward, um, where do you want to take the, the brand, the company, the, the federation? So, so it go from we're here? on probably one of the biggest transformations that we've, we've ever, ever seen. And Dave, David used the stat in his keynote yesterday around the, the Fortune 500 from 1955, where 89% of the companies that made up the Fortune 500 simply don't exist today. Why don't they di exist? Because they haven't made the leap successfully when major disruptive uh, events have occurred. We, we're in probably one of the biggest ever. It's very, very early but this is really going to sort the men from the boys in this new digital era. So John, last year, jokingly asked Pat Gelsinger, you, you, you play offense or defense? And of course, you know the answer. Um, <laughs> He's not going to say defense. Joe Tucci used to talk to, about EMC as the smallest of the big. You guys don't talk about that anymore. You're really, you kind of crack through that, you, that big. All small companies want to be big companies at Sunday, so. So, have you crossed that threshold? I mean, are you now sort of, in that, we're, we're that like class? 20, twenty-five billion dollar right? company. So, so, <laughs> so Oracle, we're, IBM, we're, HP, EMC. So, so if you if you right look there. at you know if you look at the types of conversations we have, the pe types of people that we're having those conversations, five, five years ago, definitely ten years ago, we were talking to the storage administrators. We love storage administrators. Yeah. They rock. Yeah. But if you look at the conversations we're having now, we've gradually gone kind of up the stacks and we got got into the C-suite. Conversations we're having now are with boards of companies. They're with the chairman, they're with the CEO. They're about business conversations about how do these organizations go reinvent themselves. Yeah. Technology is at the heart of that transformation. And the feedback that we get is that our value proposition as the Federation is a very, very good one. So I got to ask the hard question. Um, I wouldn't expect anything the, less. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I know it's early, because I agree with you, totally, it's a fun time. I mean, it truly is awesome to it's be in tech. Like I mean, amazing. it's super exciting, we love covering it. Um, cloud, yeah. so we ha just I've had CJ on, uh -huh. uh, he's an emerging technology group, so cloud is in the emerging technologies division, not yep. the core, uh, under Guy. Um, great opportunity, Amazon's kicking butt left and right, still not cracked the code on the enterprise. Yep. EMC has got a huge opportunity in cloud. Information generation's a nice edge of the network, ties everything up the big data. Yep. You guys have great positioning, love the positioning. Cloud is a centerpiece, it's hard, it's early. How are you thinking about that, taking it out forward? As you communicate to customers, how do you simplify the messaging? As the portfolio evolves with cloud, yep. what's your mindset and what, how are you going to attack that offensively? So, so I think our, our point of view for a while has been that you know, the, the future is a hybrid future from, from a cloud perspective. People will, do, will uh, leverage the, the speed and the simplicity of public cloud, uh, but they will also utilize the uh, uh, the security, the transparency of, of the private cloud. And if you look at the, the uh, keynote conversations today from BMW or from NBC Universal, that's exactly what they're doing. They, they want to use public cloud for speed, for agility, but when they're going for prime time, if you look at, you speak to Dirk, Dirk Ruger from BMW, he's like, if we're generating a ton of information from kind of like a bit, bit new BMW 7 series has 1600 sensors on it, 
It generates huge volumes of information. It runs 31 independent computers. It's a, it's a like supercomputer on four wheels. BMW have a responsibility, as all companies do, to, to look after and or the stewards, stewardship is the word, isn't it, of, of that data. So as that data is streaming to them, are they going to go put it into a public cloud? Don't think so. So car analogy is a good one for you guys. You you know the sports car. You have different flavors of cloud kind of thing. Well, cars are cars are always good. And motorcycles. <laughs> and motorcycles. <laughs> Anything that's fast. It's good. Okay, so I got to talk about the federation in context of EMC. You mentioned EMC is getting bigger and bigger. Dave highlighted that. We're seeing as well. You know we love data, data science. EMC really never had a big community. If you look back at 10 years ago and as they've evolved, you know, hardware solutions, we're hearing here, 95% of the employees on the engineering side are software, yep. not necessarily hardware. Yep. So you're shifted, you're growing. You got a, you got a big uptick on your community, EMC's yep. community. VMware's rabid community, yep. and that's, we know, we know all about those guys. So as EMC develops, are you happy with the community you're developing and what you're thinking about yeah, the so, ecosystem? So we, we are like, we, we, I don't think we've been on the journey for maybe the last three or four years. C classically, EMC, quite, uh, probably cons quite conservative com company, uh, like to keep a lot of things behind lock, lock and key. Uh, and and my, uh, my point of view would like, we should be sharing information. Keep, keeping our customers stupid is not helping anybody. So, so we, we've made a, a real push the last three years to get more and more of the information that used to be held behind lock and key, more, more and more of our intellectual property to get it into the community and have the community go co-create it with us. So in just the last week, we've put 100,000 new documents into the community. All of our, basically all of our library of all documentation that we've ever had at the company is now freely available. Free the, the data, let it free, let yeah. it free. It's like. Um, when I met John Rose for the first time, yeah. he asked me, he said, I'm going to ask you a question. What, what, you know, what should we be focused on? What can yeah. we do better? I said, this is a couple years ago. I said, two yeah. things. I said, developers and open source. Yeah. Those are two things that we're hearing a lot more about. I wonder if you could talk about T both Totally. So, so uh, obviously uh, a community of individuals um, that, that have a you know, big, big badge, growing very fast, very, very proud of kind of what they do. So we wanted to go embrace that community this year kind of publicly for the first time and you'll see a lot, lot of announcements le later in the week um, relating to, to those kind of topics. So we ran on Sunday for the first time a, a DevOps event. We've never run a DevOps event here. Um, we really had no idea whether anyone was going to turn up. Um, but we, we had to cap it at 300 people because nobody else could fit in the room. Uh, we build for 300 people. So we're going to probably turn that into a much bigger event of probably 1,000 or 2,000 people at EMC World next year. Uh, because a lot of the people that are, you know, your classic, you know, storage administrators or classic administrators, that they're like interested in it, they want to learn about it, they want to like figure out like, hey, yeah, if that's maybe the future, how do I make the leap? So that's what we're helping, we're helping them to do here this week. That's a great opportunity. I think you guys are poised for that, given the momentum you have and the, and the, the strategy shift to being more open. Yep. I mean, we know you guys pump out a lot of content between two cubes here, EMC TV is like pumping on all cylinders. You guys are tons of content. Yeah. Um, how does that translate into the ecosystem now? You've got business partners now too. You have, you know, I mean, how's that marketing going? How's that ecosystem developing? You have- Re Really good, so, so partner is a huge piece of our business. Um, piece of our business that probably just continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, we, when we do, we do a lot, so we do a lot, lot of great things with partners. I think we'd, we've tried to bring partners more into like how we do launches, how we bring products to market. You, see, you look at the Global Partner Summit here, we have 3,000 3, partners that are in GPS this week. So, yeah. All right, final question I got to ask, so always ask the, uh, the marketing folks, what are you investing in this year? Obviously you guys are innovative, you're always pushing the envelope. Um, Jeremy's been fun to work with him and see him in action. Um, good mindset, I'm trying things for the first time. What are you investing in, what are you focusing on and uh, from a business perspective and what new things? You mentioned Periscope in the keynotes, which we're big fans of. I'm always yeah. Periscope, everyone knows that. But, but <laughs> what is the big cool things you want to innovate on that's going to translate the value for you so, guys? So the fu fundamental thing is probably the the organizational model. So we're in the middle of a, of a massive shift away from like the classic marketing, corporate marketing model of like, hey, you've got the corporate team over here and they, they have all the ideas and they generate all the content and then you have a field marketing team over here and they, they go execute that content. And that model's been around as long as I've been doing marketing. The problem is, is that, and so you go align that field team with your, uh, you know, your global accounts, your enterprise accounts. That's how everybody does marketing in, in B2B these days. Problem is, is that, well, it's a great way of deploying coverage, 
it actually bears no resemblance to how people actually buy products these days. People are buying products in the, either a transactional way, they yeah. kind of they know what they want, they turn up with your website, they get educated on it and they transact, or they're buying it in a more consultative way. Hey, I've heard about this thing called Flash, tell me all about it, show me how other people have used it, show how I could use it, let me get started. So the, the biggest thing, outside of all the technology and yeah. the technology underpinnings, we leverage technology very, very heavily as part of our marketing mix, it is completely changing the field model to be focused on those two buying. So Omni Channel and Earn Media is something you guys focus in on. And, and what's your thoughts around those two concepts? Yeah. So, so uh, if you're not not um, if you're only talking to to people through a single channel, yeah. then uh, you got you got to hope that they're tuning into that channel. There's All right. What's, the, what's the coolest thing here at EMC World from that you've seen been involved? Now, so you rode the motorcycle on stage, and but for the folks out there that aren't here, share some of the highlights, the cool things, the exciting things, so the I, unexpected things. So I, I think that the so we, we launched the information generation uh, initiative about four weeks ago. Um, so this is our thought leadership campaign, really, really around you know as people have more and more information at their fingertips. The, their expectations of how they engage with each other, how they engage with businesses is, is changing very, very rapidly at the moment. So we have something called the Information Generation Experience, which is, is um, showcasing how when you bring kind of tech sensors, soft, software and people together, some of the magical things that happen. So who would have thought that uh, in just two or three years time, gastronomy would be nothing more than a data yeah. feed. We have like 3D printers in there that are printing chocolate. Um, in uh, one of a zillion recipes, you just download your the feed to the chocolate printer, and you can go print, print your own chocolate. Uh, we've got people that are dri driving cars through uh, just neurological sensors. So we, we're working with a company that's it's a big big data company, um, taking your neuro sensors, combining it with ton large data sets in real time to help you uh, drive a car. We're just thinking about that. So there's a ton of of that kind of sensor and software yeah. type stuff. I know you're together. a musician, so I, I was talking to someone who's got a kind of music background, and I want to get your comments on this. They said, hey, you know, when you put stuff out in the open, magic happens, kind of like people in a, in a band, yeah. and it just happens, you can't really kind of force it. Yeah. How do you view that? Do you view it the same way uh, in terms of like putting out stuff, getting all the data? In terms of putting out? Like when you let people just be creative on their own, out in the open, almost to like musicians, when the magic happens, it's a moment. To totally. Like, you know, marketing is based on, on creativity, on creative people. Um, we try to you know, co-create as much stuff as we can. We try to build an environment where innovation is at the heart of that, so yeah. All right, well congratulations, great show. We love working with you, EMC, super creative. Yeah. Record-breaking video and beat a beat nonetheless across all categories. Congratulations, uh, great to work with you guys. You're so creative and, and doing a lot of great stuff. This is theCUBE, we'll be right back after this short break. We're here with Jonathan Martin, EMC CMO, breaking it down at EMC World 2015. We'll be right back.